Hi guys, I am Ellen Schuberg and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Is it too late to tell you that everything means nothing if I can't have you? Yeah. No. 
Kom igen nu Lukas! Sounds like yet another clear violation of the Warlocks Convention of 1709. Then again, with all these muggles running about, perhaps the dragons just like them. Dreadful thing to say, Salazar. A few muggles might be just what the Slytherin team needs, judging from their most recent efforts. Oh my god, jag måste... Oh my god, det är grym! Oh my god, that's cool! Oh my god! Fan, jag såg inte kön! Oh, jag filmar! Hi, so here it is a clip from Future Me. I am going to tell you the story of what you just saw what happened there because that was a big thing that happened so we came to the disabled me area because i love minions i love uh, disabled me movies and the minion movie i love them that's my like my favorite uh, universal movie and uh, so when we were there i saw that Gru and a minion were outside and i of course wanted to take a picture with them so when we just saw them we walked like in front of them and I was really confused or and really really excited to meet Gru and the minion and Gru saw that I was confused and excited so he were like what are that girl doing he saw like he did like this and I think he were thinking like what is that girl doing so when the the person that took the picture with them when I came there were done I was going to walk to Gru and the minion to take a picture uh, and then Gru walked to me because I wasn't supposed to go to him, right? Because it was a queue and I didn't see the queue. After everything, I saw the queue. Before, I didn't saw there was a queue. So Gru walked to me and did still like this. I'm like, what is that girl doing? She's not supposed to do that. It's a queue. So yeah, he, Gru walked to me because I didn't see the queue and I wanted to take a picture with them. And after that, we we didn't decide to take a picture because it was a long queue, and I didn't want to go to Gru again because that was a little bit scary, and uh, that was embarrassing also because I didn't see the queue. So that's the story. They speak their own language. They come in all shapes and sizes. They admit any situation. 
and living for only two things. Serving grew and who is my dream? They can get us to wear white suits. Do I enjoy working with friends, lasers, or radioactive dishes? Jag kommer ihåg detta så väl nu. Now, where was I? My goal? What? There was a smudge. I am evil clown. Fear my red nose. That's enough. Girls. There's the back side of uh, the set to the NBC comedy series Superstore. I know it's hard to remember. Let's have some yeah. patience for one another. Yeah, you know, the heat makes us all relax. If your face stays where it is, it's going to get punched. Superstore stars American Ferrer and Ben Feldman, and it takes place in a big box store called Cloud Nine. Uh, Superstore, they are uh, about ready to come back to start filming for season five. Uh, we also hope to win with Grace and Good Girls. And a show called The Good Place. Set pieces. We don't want it to fade in the California sun. It's going to cover them up until they're needed in their uh, sound stages. Stage 44 on the right. That's currently on The Good Place, but that was where Who's the Boss uh, used to film. And it was also used uh, for uh, the film Furious 7. The Amazing Spider-Man Warrior, Criminal Mind, and Peel, and yeah. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. A lot of these sets that we're looking at are what we call facades. That's a kind of set where we just build the front and the sides of the structure. Mm -hmm. Most unique picture car here is the gyrosphere of Jurassic World. It's missing its glass dome. That part was never real though, that was added after filming with CGI, computer generated imagery. The tank in the end of the lineup is from Transformers, it's made mostly out of wood. So picture cars don't necessarily need to be drivable. Sometimes they do though, like a lot of the fast and furious ones. With uh, Vince Vaughn and Julian Moore trapped inside. We also have real life dinosaurs. They love to spit. We have one more big dinosaur coming up on the left. That one spits too. Just be careful. Kidding, it uh, that kind of spark. Uh, you see the gentleman on the 
the Lower Lottery Theme Park through the Jurassic Park River Adventure Attraction, which went extinct last year and is being completely reimagined to a Jurassic World attraction that opens this summer. And I don't know anything more specific than that, but it opens this summer at some point. So, if a filmmaker's filming in Southern California and they need a thunderstorm for their scene, this is how we can provide it. We start with the thunder and lightning, which is totally fake. And then we get the rain to go with it. So, the rain is coming out of sprinklers that are placed on the tops of poles all over the set. The thunder is coming out of speakers that are built into the sets all around us. And the lightning flashes are coming from strobe lights. Raindrops are actually larger than real raindrops. It looks like a flash flood headed to the town. serious than I thought. What just happened? This is a secure line. Who are you? Oh, I'll tell you who I am, boy. I'm the reason bad guys use a nightlight. I'm the reason the boogeyman begs his mama to look under his bed. And I'm the reason you just lost control of this whole operation. My name is Special Agent Lou Collins of the U.S. Diplomatic Security Service. And as of 16.972, I'm the man in charge. Let me clear you in on two. This is what we're doing. This is the race day after party. And the, where, where the other? Roman Pierce. Roman Pierce. FBI, don't move. Now, you are a young boy. Uh, you're south at 12 years old. Yeah. 
gals in here. Walkers, they do it packs, like, like herds of animals. They will not stop and they will overwhelm you if you slow down. So keep moving. Put your phones and camera away. A bright little light, holds gonna do it. I hope you enjoy this vlog from Lovely Beach. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get a notification anytime I post a new video. And yes, I am back home when I am recording this outro because I haven't been doing any outro when I was at Long Beach. So I am doing one now when I am back home. So hope you enjoy it and hope you watch my next video from this EF trip. Bye! There must be something in the water